Hi, I'm Kirsten Mills, and I am the Crestwood Volleyball Coach for the 2019-2020 season. And I would like to start out by thanking the Crestwood Administration, including Athletic Director Megan Damler and Superintendent Jeanette Young for answering my many questions as a first year coach at Crestwood. Their constant support is always very much appreciated. Thank you also to the Board of Education for their belief in me and my team. I felt welcome as a coach from day one. Thank you to the custodial staff for making sure that the gym was prepared for home matches. I want to thank the parents, grandparents, family members, and friends for getting the girls to all the practices, especially the 6 a.m. Friday mornings. You truly made my coaching experience enjoyable with your continuous support, encouragement, and help. Lastly, thank you to Coach Sondi for her dedication to the team. Her passion for volleyball and helping the girls succeed was evident from the very beginning. She pushed the girls for more because she knew that they could take that challenge. Sandy was always willing to step up and help out whenever and wherever she could. It was fun to coach with you again. The beginning of each season can be tough, but even more so when you have a new coach with a new group of girls. Walking into the gym in December, I immediately saw potential in the 36 girls who would soon fill the locker room with laughs, smiles, sweat, and more. They were introduced to drills that I had learned throughout my many years as a player and also as an assistant coach at the high school level. To say that the first few practices were filled with confusion, exhaustion, and frustration would be an understatement. But I knew that this team would be special when they continued to show up each and every day for themselves and their team with a positive attitude and a willingness to do whatever it took to improve their game. The girls quickly picked up on the drills and I saw huge improvements in their passing, hitting, serving, setting, and communication. Thank you girls for making my first year as a Crestwood coach so much fun. We made so many memories, and I know that the only way to go is up from here. Now, on to recognizing the individual athletes and presenting awards. This year, we had three teams, and the BEAT team consisted of both 6th and 7th graders. They had the opportunity to travel to many of our away matches and also competed against several teams on our home court. The BEAT team plays for a certain amount of time, and we always end our home matches with a round of rotating sixes. We focus on the fundamentals of volleyball with the majority of our drills consisting of serving and passing. The girls worked hard each and every day and their enthusiasm for the game is unmatched. I hope to see all of these girls back on the court next season. This year's B team players include the following, Elizabeth Alexander, Deja Bright, Abby Claudfelder, Lindsay Coulter, Marissa Creech, Shelby Fry, Adelie Gill, Aubrey Griffin, Addison Hansel, Kylie Kleps, Desha Langster, Jada Maxwell, Olivia Roberts, Emma Shearer, Jojo Simmons, Maya Smitkamp, and Hannah Waltz. The seventh grade team ended their season with a record of 11 and seven. They earned third place at the Newton St. Thomas tournament and won the first round of regionals against Tri-County. We had quite a few close matches where we would end up going back and forth with the team, or we would win the first set, lose the second, and make a huge comeback to end the match. These girls worked together so well, and I look forward to a strong season next year as eighth graders. The seventh grade team players include Mallory Bergen, Abby Quadfelter, Samantha Kindred, Kylie Kleps, Alina Leader, Addison Martin, Abby Pruitt, Annie Pruitt, Blakely Shanks, Kenley Shanks, Maria Smith, and Haley Yantis. This year's individual award recipients for the seventh grade team include the following. The serving award goes to a player who was consistent behind the line and started our team off every match. With 56 points, and 58 aces, the serving award goes to Abby Pruitt. The seventh grade passing award goes to someone who is willing to dive anywhere on the court to save a ball and did very well with serve receive for our team. 
The award for passing goes to Kenley Shanks. The hitting award this year goes to Samantha Kindred. Sam is such a versatile player who can hit from any position. She hit outside, middle, and right side, and she also works the tips well. Congrats, Sam. And lastly, our seventh grade effort award goes to a player who is constantly cheering for her teammates, displays leadership, and pushes her team to success with her high energy. This year's effort award goes to Haley Yantis. Lastly, the eighth grade team. The eighth grade team ended their season with a record of three and 16. But that is not even close to the recognition they deserve. These girls had seven matches that went to three sets and many of the matches ended with only a two point difference. The eighth graders stepped up as leaders on the court and made the season so enjoyable. I saw huge improvements from their game, especially the first day when they, they looked at me when we tried to do rotations, very hesitant, and they bought into it and made huge improvements. I look forward to watching these girls compete at the high school level next year. The Crestwood eighth grade team consisted of the following players, Bella Asbury, Elena Boren, Gracie Dyer, Skylar Foote, Lily Graham, Samantha Kindred, Aubrey Leader, Abby Pruitt, Annie Pruitt, Kinley Shanks, Jamie Wallace, and Haley Antis. Now for the individual awards. The eighth grade serving award goes to one of our most consistent servers and a great leader on the court. With 27 points and 14 aces, Aubrey Leader is this year's serving award recipient. This year's eighth grade hitting award goes to a player who really lived up to her height, especially during the last few weeks of the season. She was finally getting her grooves with tips, attacks, and blocks. Congrats to this year's hitting award recipient, Jamie Wallace. The eighth grade passing award goes to one of our captains who isn't afraid to dive on the court to save a tip or hit, probably because of her high energy. She went for everything around her and adjusted well to the opposing teams. The passing award goes to Gracie Dyer. The final award that I have to give is the eighth grade effort award. This girl showed up to a 6 a.m. practice before seventh grade regionals just because she wanted to. She is very coachable and was a valuable player in the front row with her serving showcased on eighth grade night and regionals. The effort award goes to Bella Asbury. Thank you again for an awesome volleyball season, Eagles. I look forward to next year.